Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel for another episode of The Sims 1 Complete Collection here with me, T-Addict. How are you guys going? Happy Saturday. Uh, sorry this episode's coming out a day late. Uh, I was just having a very, very, very low energy day yesterday. I was really tired after a massive day the day before. Um, so thank you for your patience. I ended up having a very restful day, mostly in bed. And then my husband and I ordered in pizza and watched the new Obi-Wan Kenobi series, the first two episodes. Uh, and that was my night and it was really nice. Um, and yeah, now we're here to continue on with Sims 1. So yeah, thank you for your patience and hopefully we'll have a fun episode today. So we're here with Gunther and Cornelia Goth. Gunther's dreaming about money. That seems fair. He needs to be richer. Oh no! And there's a raccoon attacking our trash can, which is apparently waking us up. So that's not ideal. I imagine someone like Cornelia would be really, really mad about something like that IRL, to be honest. Um, can we like scare him away or something? Like, do we have to call? Yeah, maybe if we shoo him. Um, otherwise, maybe we have to call like pest control or something. I don't know. Hey, cats, can't you like, can't you like uh, protect the household here and shoo the raccoon away? Because he's annoying and he's disrupting our sleep. Let's see if we can get a little bit more sleep. Uh, hopefully. Wait, what are you doing? Are you playing with the trash? Don't play with the trash. Oh, kitties. You should go to sleep too, you two little kitty cats. You got your perfect cat palace room up there. Go and sleep in it. Um, but yeah, so today we're playing with the goth seniors. And we can see that we're working on getting Gunther promoted up in his education career. So right now he's a college dean. Um, he does need a few more skill points to get promoted, and he also needs nine, count them, nine family friends to reach his next career level. Honestly, can't really see that happening, but I guess we can at least try. <laughs> We've been attempting to make him actually friends with his son Mortimer as a start, but we're, we haven't gotten very far. Uh, Cornelia doesn't work. She mostly stays home. We have her, like, paint and do stuff like that. But maybe we should, uh, focus a little bit on Cornelia making some family friends for us and, uh, maintaining their social connections. Because, yeah, this, this family needs, uh, needs more friends. Absolutely. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get Gunther ready for the day. His carpool's coming in an hour. He's probably not going to have time to eat, really, before he goes to work. Um, so maybe I will just have him play some pool after he gets out of the shower and Cornelia can come down and have breakfast, uh, by herself. But yeah, so maybe, I mean, like while Gunther's at work, can we take Cornelia out to, um, community lots? Will the game let me do that? I hope it will. Um, because yeah, he's going to be, he's going to be going soon and then maybe we can have Cornelia try to make friends with a lot of people around town. Uh, a few of you have expressed an interest as well in Cornelia getting close with Jania Cat and maybe having a little bit of a, a, a romantic relationship with her, uh, potentially. That might be something we can look at. And ideally, we would like this family to be making enough money that we can afford our bills, which are 2,614 simoleons. And also uh, to be able to afford a butler to just take care of everything around the house for us. Uh, we have a huge garden that's a lot of work to take care of. Um, and I'm not sure if we have a gardener hired. I might have to double check on that. Um, maybe we'll try calling. So, yeah, I think we've got, I think we have a maid and a gardener already. I think. Judging by the fact that I can't hire and call and hire another one. I'm going to assume we already have one. So the cats are going to be pretty good. Um, they can just hang out and do their own thing. And then I'm just going to have Cornelia get dressed for the day. And then we'll... <laughs> Kitty kitties playing on the street. Uh, yeah, we'll get her to get dressed for the day. And then we'll head out and enjoy a community lot, I guess. Probably a good idea. So yeah, let's go ahead and use the toilet. And then come down here and go explore Old Town. Oh, good. Our maid's here. Thank you, Bridget, for coming and uh, taking care of the house. This uh, fern in the kitchen looks a little sad. Maybe we should actually water that after we order our uh, thing. Uh, according to our GPS sensors, not all of the members of your household are currently home. 
So we cannot do that. Okay, so we'll have to wait until Gunther's actually home. That's fine. We can do that. So we'll have her just fix up that plant then and play some piano to improve her fun. And then maybe we'll have her do some painting as well uh, because, of course, she could actually earn some money from painting, which would be good. Very nice. But, yeah, if we get her to be in a nice, happy, wonderful mood, then hopefully she will be... More than ready to go out and make friends with everybody around the neighborhood once Gunther has returned home. Um, maybe we could get her to take a little nap on the couch as well. Improve her comfort and her energy. So yeah, just have a little nap. Would you like to breed your pets? <laughs> I'm going to say no. <laughs> it was tempting, but I'm going to have to say no. Just uh, because of how well it went last time I tried to be breed the pets with Jania Cat. <laughs> Which, uh, spoiler, did not go very well at all. But yeah, maybe she could finish doing that painting. Um, and then we can sell it for a little bit more money. And then once Gunther's home, we could go out to a community lot. He's going to need to eat. So he'll be home at three. Okay, that's fine. Um, excellent. Okay, let's sell that painting. Six bucks. Oh my gosh. Rake it in. We get so much money from our painting. Yoohoo. Let's go and try to take another nap. We just paid our bills, which are extraordinarily expensive. Uh, so yeah, he currently earns 700 a day. Oh, and he's home. Um, it would be nice if he earned at least double that. Um, but I mean, I guess we'll take what we, we can. So yeah, just having her sit and relax here for a minute. Are you going to eat, Gunther? Did you just decide not to eat? Have a quick dinner. Have something to eat. Oh no, you're trying to have dinner. Okay, yeah, have something to eat, please. Why won't you nap? Nap and get some energy. Maybe I should buy them a coffee machine or a teapot or something so that they can drink coffee when they're tired. Oh, Fluffy Strays is no longer a family friend. How, un how upsetting. Okay, so yeah, he's now eating some dinner so then we can go we can go out somewhere so yeah let's call a cab um maybe we should have actually gone downtown for dinner oh that's okay we're just gonna go explore old town um okay well you got halfway through making that and then i cancelled your action sorry use the toilet yes please come and get me so yeah, I just want them to go out so we can hopefully have them make a friend or two. Um, okay, here we go. Yes, please. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll run into Mortimer. And hopefully, hopefully we'll run into Jania. Uh, that would be the goal, to run into those two sims. But otherwise, we'll, we'll just talk to and try to make friends with whoever is available on the lot. It is 6pm, so <laughs> it's not ideal for friendship making. Okay, Callie, you're going to have to... <laughs> Seriously? Seriously, game, come on. Come on. Load me. There we go. All right. Whew. Let's go to... Uh... Yeah, let's go to Pet Paradise, I guess. And then the cats can run around and play and amuse themselves. While we just try to talk to people. All right. Who we got? Okay, so Brad is here. All right, well, Gunther, you are going to go ahead and shake hands with Brad and see if you can talk to him a little bit. Okay. And then Tiffany's here. Good. So Cornelia, you are going to shake hands with Tiffany and see if you can make friends with her. All of the animals are here. Brad and Tiffany Burb, of course, adopted a cat in their last uh, episode that we were just playing with them. So obviously they're here to get some extra cat supplies or something like that. Okay, so we've greeted her, so let's talk, let's talk, let's talk, let's uh, boast and talk some more. I do feel like the goth seniors would be fairly boastful people. Oh, and Johnny's here as well, of course, with little Tucker. Hopefully their moods will hold up for long enough that we can at least make a start. Right now we're 7 over 2 with Tiffany and 10 over 2 with Brad. So, you know, doing great, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Johnny's just playing with the dog. Okay, I just, yes, I literally, this is what I want you guys to do. Just stand here and talk until you're friends. <laughs> and then maybe we could have two family friends by the end of this, if I'm very lucky, although that is very unlikely, just based on how slowly they gain relationships in this game. 
Okay, so Brad and Gunther are now 28 over 2. And Cornelia and Tiffany are 26 over 3. Oh dear. Okay, you guys have stopped. You're pretty uncomfortable and tired. I need you to just keep talking. Just a little bit more. Come on, make friends, make friends! So you guys are now 40 over 3, and you guys are now 40 over 3. Oh, that's so close. Okay, well maybe we should call to go home. Um, and then tomorrow night we could invite them over for dinner or something. And uh, yeah, have the, have the burbs over for a meal. And see if we can finish making friends. That should work. Yes, please, come and get me. Okay, you can go ahead and just sit while you wait. Oh, you're going to go and talk to the bird? No, please don't do that. Please just uh, get in the thing and head home. How are the cats? Uh, not great. <laughs> I totally forgot that the cats come with us, so I'm glad they're not dead. Okay, good job, everybody. We almost made friends. Almost. So, yeah. Oh, we actually did get pretty high with Brad Burb in the end, but we didn't get to being friends. Okay, well, that's not, that's okay. I'm alright with that. We can, we'll still get there. Okay, so Gunther is about to pass out. Do you want to go and nap? And Cornelia needs to eat. You can go ahead and serve that, whatever you cooked over there. Um, this cat, I think, is just uh, falling asleep on the ground right there. Yep, yeah, that's fine. And then you're trying to eat the bird? Okay, you're really hungry. Do we actually have food in our pet bowls? Potentially not. Okay, well, once Cornelia's done eating, she'll go up and fill the pet bowl. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. You can go ahead and grab a plate of food after you've napped a little. There you go. Do, 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 do. Okay, and then, no, 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 cat, come on, cat, move. <laughs> Alright, and then Cornelia, you are probably exhausted. Do you want to just use the toilet and then go to bed? Oh my goodness, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but Skittles appears to be outside my door, asking very politely, as you can hear, to come in. So I'll just let him in while the Sims get themselves to bed. Oh my goodness. What's going on me? Okay, I'm back. Have the cat, has this cat eaten? No, but it's on its way to eat. Okay. No problem. All right, let's all get some nice sleep. The cats are fine. They're just, okay. I think one of the cats just peed on the floor, which is a little unfortunate, but that's all right. All right, Gunther, why don't you go ahead and get yourself uh, ready for the day? I can't believe in this massive mansion we only have one bathroom. That seems a little bit, uh, I don't know. Not like, like it's not the best use of space I've ever seen, but that's okay. Um, can you go ahead and try to serve some breakfast? We'll see if we can get Gunther to pee, shower and eat before he has to leave for work. Probably not. He also desperately needs to have some fun. That's okay. Tonight when he gets home, Assuming he has worked today, I realise I didn't delete the calendar mod. Yes, I think he does. But yeah, um, today when he gets home, he'll be able to just stay home, play pool, and entertain some guests. Because we are going to have the burbs over. Uh, so he should be able to have some fun after work today. <laughs> rather than being forced to just go straight down to a community lot and uh, socialise. Yeah, he's barely going to have time to get out of the shower before the couple <laughs> arrives. <laughs> Classic Sims 1. Okay, and then today, Cornelia can do her best to maybe do another painting. So she, her creativity is getting there. Um, so yeah, if we could level up her creativity to a point where she's actually making a decent amount of money off of painting, I do feel like that would be useful. So let's get her dressed for the day and then she can come down and do some painting. Um, okay, and he's gone off to work. Excellent. Does Sims walk by particularly often in The Sims 1 or is that not really a thing? Like I'm just thinking can I get Cornelia to just greet a random neighbour who happens to be walking by but if we don't, oh the garden is done already, okay. Um, but yeah if neighbours don't happen to walk by in this game which I have a feeling they actually don't then that's not gonna work. That's okay though she can just paint until Gunther gets home and we can invite the burbs over. And hopefully that'll fulfill her fun need a little bit. She'll be all happy. 
Okay, her room score outside is also very, very good, which is which is nice. Does this cage need like feeding, cleaning, stocking? Is there even a bird in here? Did our bird die and I missed it? I have a bad feeling that our bird died and I missed it. Oh god, I'm a terrible simmer. Whoopsies. Okay, just triple speeding a little bit here because I can. Uh, the cats are fine. I think we need to fulfill. I think we need to fill up the food bowl again. Um, she's doing a beautiful wedding portrait. <laughs> I always loved when The Sims would paint this thing in The Sims one. It's like, oh, who's it? To me, it kind of almost looks like uh, Maria and Captain Von Trapp from The Sound of Music, like just a little bit. <laughs> I think that's nice. But yeah, maybe we'll have, maybe if we have the burbs over for dinner tonight and then tomorrow we could try six bucks again. Woohoo. Tomorrow we could try getting Bella and Mortimer over. I'm not sure if we are good enough friends with the goss that they'd actually come over, but we can try. Um, and we might give Gunther the third day off of work as well, uh, just to give him a little break. Okay, so you're doing all right. You could probably stand to just take a little bit of a nap. Gunther's going to be home in 20 minutes, and he is going to need food. I think this food is still good. Yeah. No, it just got flies all over it. Oh, unfortunate. All right, in that case, do you want to focus firstly on having fun? So why don't you come up here and play some pool? Okay, you're just sitting and getting your comfort up. Well, that's, that's not a bad thing. Do you want to try... Okay, you're gonna do that, sure. Why don't you clean up, use the toilet, and then let's uh, call, we'll call Tiffany over, and then we'll have Gunther come, come down and call Brad over um, to get all of the burbs over here. Oh, okay, never mind, sorry, phone's ringing. Would you like to adopt a baby? <laughs> no, that's okay. Can't see the goss doing that, no. They have their precious son, precious Mortimer. And that is all that they need. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll call we'll call him over. Okay, you've had a little bit of fun now, which is great. So as soon as Cornelia is done with the phone, you can come down and call. Okay, so Cornelia is inviting Tiffany over. Invite over. I know you're really hungry. Yay! She'll be over in a bit. Okay. These dang flies that are just everywhere all the time. Is it okay to bring a friend with me? Absolutely. Okay, well, hopefully that means she brings back Brad anyway. But just to be on the safe side, um, we will get Cornelia to come in here and start serving dinner. And then we will have Gunther. You okay, Cornelia? Nice pose by the phone there, sweet pea. She's like, oh, look at me going, inviting the neighbors over for dinner. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Yes, you did great. Um... But yeah, let's just to be on the safe side, we'll call up Brad as well and just make sure he's coming over too. Or should I wait? Maybe I'll wait and see who Cornelia brings with her. Yeah, so you can just come in here and sit just for a minute. Oh, you brought Diane with you. Okay, well, that's lovely. Okay, well, in that case, we actually do need to call Brad and get him over here as well. That's fine. No worries. Okay, so, Burb, Brad... Invite over. Okay, can you not eat yet? I need you to come out here and greet Tiffany. Yay! And he's going to be right over as well. We've got food up and ready to go. I know you're so hungry, buddy. I promise you will be able to uh, eat soon. I just want you to come out and greet Diane Pleasant really quickly so she comes inside. Uh, Cornelia, why don't you go ahead and uh, talk? Just have a quick chat with Tiffany. And uh, give her, I was going to say a friendly hug, but that might be a bit too forward. We'll just have a quick chat, then come in and grab a plate. Uh, Gunther, you're going to wait until Brad gets here, so just have a quick chat with uh, Diane Pleasant, maybe? Okay, well that conversation went well, and now Cornelia is walking all the way around to the back of the house <laughs> to go inside. By the looks, great. Okay, let's greet Brad. And then finally, poor Gunther can go and eat some dinner. Okay, greet him. Greet him now. There's animals everywhere. Oh my goodness. Hello. All right, let's go get some food. And yeah, you're going to walk all the way around the lot as well. 
They all they all like to walk all the way around to the back door uh, in the kitchen. I am so tempted to get rid of that door. <laughs> it's super annoying. But okay. Alright, let's zoom back in now that everybody's arrived. Um, and yes, while I'm thinking of it, I think I will get the stray away pet prevention system. Oh yes, one of you left me a comment saying it might be on the scarecrow that I was looking for in the last episode might be under the other tab. But I'm not seeing it in here either, and I did actually have a look in here last episode. So, no, the, the mystery of the Scarecrow remains. Um, we still don't know where it is. <laughs> okay, oh great, so you're eating in here all by yourself. Well, hopefully Brad sits down and eats with you in that room. Okay, I know you're a little tired. I am very tempted to get you... Let's get you a teapot. There we go. And then can you, like, I can't click on this thing. Oh my god, drink tea. Just give yourself, oh, he's talking through the, through the wall. Okay. <laughs> Cornelia's just having a nice cup of tea. Just give herself a little bit more energy to continue to socialize and try to make friends. So yeah, we, we're gonna, it's nice that Diane is here and I would like to make friends with her as well. But for now, we're just gonna focus on trying to make friends with Tiffany. Um, and then Brad, I mean, sorry, Gunther, as soon as you're done, you're going to be focusing on trying to, uh, actually make friends with Brad. Okay, have you finished your tea? That's enough tea. You got plenty of energy. Okay. <laughs> Come on. I like how Tiffany's just standing and blocking the dishwasher. Can you just, can you just leave that? Thanks. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. I know you're tired. It's okay. We're going to talk. We're going to gossip. Talk some more. Wait, where are you going? I thought we were interacting with you. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on. Talk. 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 <laughs> I don't care if you need to go to the toilet. <laughs> Talk to me instead. Yay! Oh, we made a new family friend. How exciting. Good job, Gunther. Okay, so one down. Eight to go. But that's good. That's good. Pr so proud of you, buddy. And if you can just, yeah, like, continue... Uh, talking for a bit so our relationship goes up high enough that we won't lose it immediately. I would really enjoy that. You guys are very close. Very close to being friends. So if you could just do that for me. Yay! Another family friend! And we're 60 over 6 with Tiffany. So that's brilliant. Okay, I'm so pleased. We are doing very well. Okay, Diane's having seconds. That's fine. She can do that. Okay. Okay. So you guys are now friends. You've got a decent relationship. How's your mood? Not bad, actually. We can probably continue to interact a little bit more. I think Gunther's going to have to say goodbye to Brad, though, and go to bed soon. Because uh, he's very tired. Yeah, let's go ahead and say goodbye. Shake hands. Thank you for coming over for dinner. And then we can go to bed. You're going off to play some chess. Okay, sure. Uh, we might have you... Cornelia, do you want to come here? Just talk uh, a little bit more to Diane and then we'll say goodbye to her. And then, yeah, next, I guess next we can work on becoming friends with Diane Pleasant as well as the goss. We got bugs. Everything is going great. <laughs> How are my cats? Cats are good. Okay. Uh, let's, let's just talk a little bit more. Sorry, just a little bit more. All right, so we've said goodbye to her, I think. Oh, we're doing that now. Dag, dag. Oh, maybe that was Tiffany saying goodbye. She's like, it's late. I'm going to go now. <laughs> Literally one o'clock in the morning. Probably fair enough. Okay. You're going to come up to bed. Yay! So we've made now made two family friends, though. So that's good. I'm very proud of us. So next, yeah, we're going to try... We're going to try getting Mortimer and Bella to come over. I don't know if anyone even has, like, you've got zero over two with Bella and Cornelia has zero over three. So that might be a bit difficult to get her over here <laughs> to make friends with. Oh, dear. Okay. Um, and, yeah, he's not going to go to work today um, because he needs a day off. Is, are there hairballs all over my house right now? Oh, my goodness. Gross. <laughs> Well, we'll go ahead and fill up that bowl. <laughs> Cats are making really weird noises while they sleep as well. I'm not sure if it's like coughing up more hairballs. I don't know. They're pretty cute though. Oh, 
I see those bugs. I see them, game. I see them, and I choose to ignore them. Okay, no, you're not going to work today. You're going to have breakfast. No, you're not. You're going to serve breakfast. There you go. Okay, Cornelia, how are you doing? Oh, you're up. Okay. Let's get you ready for the day. Hopefully the, uh, the maid will be around very soon to <laughs> clean up the disaster that is our house right now. Oh, dear. But I'm glad we have tea. We can drink tea to um, get us more energy if we need more energy. So that's a good thing. Okay, but yeah, so we're, we're going to spend today trying to get Gunther some skill points. So he needs creativity and logic, and he also needs to have fun. So we'll have him play, play chess, practice the piano, do all that kind of good stuff to try to earn some skills. And then we'll try to get uh, Mortimer and Bella over this evening. Uh, that's the phone. Probably my boss yelling at me for not coming in. Yep. Sorry. My bad. I love how dramatic that music is as well. Like, da 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 It's like Jaws. Oh, I missed work. Oh, no. It's a disaster. Oh, dear. Okay, you're going to do that. Excellent. And then you can come out and you can do some more painting. And, yeah, we'll just leave this whole heckin' huge big mess for the maid to deal with. But yeah, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna work on getting these skill points. Um, we're gonna work on improving Cornelia's creativity more so she can earn some money from that. And then maybe at around like Oh, what time does Mortimer get off work these days? That's the question though, isn't it? I'm not actually sure. Maybe we'll try calling him over around three or four in the afternoon. Very quiet day in the Goth Goth household though, the Goth senior household, as uh they just go about their individual uh, pursuits and attempt to learn some skills and okay Cornelia is in a great mood now that she's been outside painting all day so that's wonderful let's see if this painting will be worth anything more than six simoleons she's up to creativity level five now so she's getting there Gunther is absolutely slaying at this piano right now and we're done so let's sell it Nope, six bucks again. Woo! We're raking it in with these six Somalian paintings. I'm so proud of us. <laughs> okay, uh, let's try calling Bella for a chat with Cornelia. Okay, Mortimer has, I mean, sorry, Gunther has finished doing that. Having tea, is what I meant to say. Talk. Let's see if we can talk with Bella. Oh dear, okay, well that went extremely poorly. All right then. <laughs> now, I doubt this is going to work, but I am going to try calling Mortimer to invite him over. I don't know if we'd be able to get Bella over here as well. <sighs> well let's see if we can get him over. If not... No, he is going to come over. I was going to say, if not, we could try going out to a community lot. Um, let's also see if Bella will come over. She might just straight up say no. Um, invite over. Because, yeah, often you do run into the goths uh, at a community lot. Bella says, would I pass up the chance to spend time with you? Never. I'll be right over. Oh, my gosh. That's really good. I'm quite surprised by that. I thought for sure they would say no. But okay. Brilliant. All right. So they're going to be coming over. Um, serving dinner would be a great idea. But first, I'm just going to get you to clean up. You can't reach that, seriously. Well, how did he manage to put it there in the first place? Pfft. All right, there you go. Now clean it up. Okay, no. Where are my goth pals? Where are my children? Get your butts over here. Hopefully they don't bring Cassandra with him. All right, you might as well go ahead and serve dinner. Here they are. The kids. The kids are arriving. Yay! All right, Mortimer and Bella, here we go. So we're just going to wait until we can greet them. And then we will, of course, say hello. So, Gunther, are you ready to uh, say hello? So let's go ahead and shake hands with Mortimer. So what we'll do is we'll have uh, Gunther attempt to befriend Mortimer and Cornelia attempt to befriend, befriend Bella. And that'll be kind of the way we... Uh, we handle this once everybody's eat, had their dinner. No, don't tease me, Mortimer. Don't be rude. 
Hello, so good to see you. All right, let's just try just talking with Mortimer a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and grab a plate. Hopefully the goss will come in and grab some food too. And we'll all sit down and have a nice meal together. Cornelia is really tired again and she's already finished eating. So I'm going to get her to drink some tea uh, to give her a little bit more energy. <laughs> tea might just be the secret ingredient to uh, surviving playing The Sims 1. <laughs> Who knew? I don't actually have a cup of tea with me right now either, which seems like an oversight. But uh, I... You don't like tennis, Bella? Why not? What's wrong with you? Um, I just had lunch after, just before I came to record, so didn't think of making tea, which is a bit silly. But okay, you've drunken, you've, you've drunken your tea. You've had your tea. Excellent. So you are going to focus on making friends with Bella in a minute. She's still just finishing off her food. Okay, she's done. Excellent. Come and sit with me. No, 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 come and, come and sit with me, Bella. I know, I know. It's very confusing. You were about to clean up that plate, and then I was like, come and sit down. Okay, sit. Definitely something I've noticed about The Sims 1 is that the, the Sims don't like to just sit. They like to get up all the time, move around, walk around. It's very annoying. Okay. Mortimer, get out of the way so... I mean, Gunther, get out of the way so Morty can wash up his plate. So otherwise he's just going to stand there like an idiot this whole time. Okay, now talk about interests, talk about interests, talk about interests, make friends. I think Bella's just going to use the bathroom, which she is, so that's fine. Let's take this opportunity to let Cornelia pee as well. All right, come on, talk to your son, talk to your son, make friends. Let's see how we go. Well, you actually have a decent relationship with Bella, I don't know how that happened. Oh, I don't know. Uh, we could... Yeah, no, we're just going to literally just talk with him for the rest of the night. Yes. Okay. You're going to come out here. Hopefully Bella comes out of the bathroom at some point soon. Yep. And you're going to do the same thing. So you're going to talk, 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 talk. Maybe a gossip and talk some more. All right, let's go. Double speed, double time. Let's work on these relationships. Oh, there's bugs in the toilet now. Okay, sure. So whatever Cornelia did in there was obviously nasty enough to bring up a bunch of bugs. Nice. We may have to let Mortimer go and go and pee in a minute. Yeah, he's not in the mood to socialize. I think he needs to go and use the toilet. Are you gossiping about Cornelia right now? How rude. <laughs> yeah, Mortimer needs to go and use the toilet. That's fine. Let's let him do that. And then hopefully we can talk to him some more. Let's see if you can take care of those bugs for me, Gunther. And water that plant. Okay, and you're, gos you're gossiping about Gunther. That's so funny. <laughs> the married couple just start uh, gossiping about one another. Makes me laugh. Okay, come on. Out of there. Oh, Menelis, are you going to be in the way? Oh, your pet has earned a hunting skill point. Well, that's awesome. But can you get out of the way so that I can get out of this bathroom? Come on. Come on. Come on. Cat, move. Okay, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking. Let's go. Let's make some more friends. Okay. So you are at 31 over 13. And you two are at 33 over 2. Oh, gosh. Relationship gain is slow in this game. And it disappears so fast. I don't know how we're ever going to maintain nine family friends. But I think our best bet is having them split between Cornelia and Gunther. Um, so that they each have a couple relationships each that they're trying to maintain all the time. Right, how are our moods? Definitely need to get these sims to bed soon. It is midnight. Dang it. Well, I was hoping to get these sims to be friends before the episode was over. But I don't think we're quite going to get there. <laughs> this has been such a friendship grinding episode. <laughs> just, to, just to show you guys how difficult it truly is to uh, make friends in the sims one. Let's just try a gossip again. Come on. Come on. Just a little bit more. Cornelia, you can push it a bit later than Gunther can because you don't have to get up and go to work in the morning. And you guys are so close. Come on. Oh, you're so close. 47 over 14. Oh my gosh, you're killing me. Come on, guys. No. 50 over 14. Can we do like a friendly hug? Maybe. Maybe one more gossip. 
Come on, be family friends. Be family friends. Be family friends. Nope, that didn't go well. All right. Let's say goodbye to Mortimer. I think he's leaving already, actually. And uh, get Gunther to bed. He's going to be absolutely toasted for work tomorrow. But I guess that just is what it is. Um, okay, and you two. Yeah, bye Morty, that's fair enough. It's too late, see you another time. Yep, I get it. That's totally fine. Let's see if you two can crack the friendship barrier. Come on. Talking about kissing and romancing. Yes, we made a new family friend. Okay, let's do a friendly hug. And then we will say goodbye. Oh dear. What's going on? Probably a, a El Bandito, I would guess. Alright, bye bye Bella. Ciao Bella. Let's, uh, let's get to bed. <laughs> oh, these poor Sims. Burning the candle at both ends this episode to try to make these friends. But hey, now we've got three. Oh no, and this plant is completely dead. Oh, and we earned another, um, hunting skill point. Okay, well... I don't love that my plants keep dying. Clearly my garden is not coming often enough is the issue, rather than... What do you mean it can't be deleted? What about if I turn on move objects? Aha! There we go, it's fine. That's what you should look like. Julia, the plants die, no problem. We just replace them with live ones. That's not at all how I do indoor plants in real life. <laughs> But okay, I think uh, that is actually our three days up, isn't it? Yeah, so this is where we're going to leave this episode. Poor old uh, Gunther's got to get up for work and he's going to be exhausted and uh, tired. And oh, I'm just going to sell this calendar too. But that's okay. He's going to go. He's going to make us another 700 simoleons. And then we are going to um, hopefully be able to eventually get him promoted up to the final level of education. I think College Dean must be like second to top. That would be my guess. Uh, but then one day maybe we'll be able to afford to keep a butler here. Which would be really nice. I would like that. But they cost something like a couple hundred, like maybe it's like 600 simoleons a day or something like that. Which means we need to be earning enough to cover that plus our bills, which we're currently not. So stay tuned for that, guys. I am going to call it an episode here. So if you enjoyed this one, please uh, don't forget to leave a like under the video. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you stay up to date with the channel. Hope you all have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Take care and bye for now.